Well, good morning. My name is Royal. I am in my backyard in Hearst, Texas. I'm here to do my morning devotional for Wednesday, June the 21st. Thank you so much for joining me. It is hump day. Some of you are already looking forward till the end of the week. And uh, you might be having some hard times. You might be having some hard times in your job, some things going on hard at home. And um, what I love about being a Christian is that God promises to make those hard things make us better. If we, if we work with Him, if we allow the Holy Spirit to uh, comfort us and motivate us and encourage us, and if we allow the purpose of becoming more Christ-like to uh, drive us through that, and uh, that's, that's the way it's supposed to work. God's plan is, is when you come through the hard times, that you're stronger and you're more prepared to handle the new challenges that will come forward in your life. And, and uh, not let it take you down, but let it help build you up. And uh, you think, oh, well, well, it's hard when you're going through that. It's hard to stay focused on that. And again, that's why we need each other. We need encouragement from the church, from each other, from reading God's Word, from, from the Holy Spirit in our lives. So that's, what, that's today's topic. And uh, let me open this up in prayer. I'm going to be in Romans 5, verses 3 through 5. Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning. May we keep your name holy above every other name. May we serve you. Would you give us what we need to be who you want us to be? Would you forgive us of our sins and uh, remind us of the sins we need to ask forgiveness for? Father, may we forgive those who hurt us instantly so we're better and not bitter. Lord, would you protect us from the many negatives around us all day long and the temptations? And may we uh, give you glory for every single thing that happens, good or bad, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, listen to this. This is Romans 5, 3 through 5. And, it, and it's, a, uh, it's a progression. When you're going through times, uh, it's a progression of, of, the, of it happening and you growing through that. And, and it gets easier all the time. And, and maybe easier is not the right word, but, but the more you... Uh, progress through things and grow and be molded in your faith, the, <clears throat> the better you can handle the next challenge that comes that uh, you may not be prepared to handle now because you haven't been through whatever you're going through. So here it is, verse, <clears throat> excuse me, Romans 5 verse 3, may we can rejoice too, we can rejoice as well. When we run into problems and trials, for we know that they help us develop endurance. Well, you know, y'all know about endurance. If you work out, you know about endurance. Uh, you work longer hours, you learn about endurance. When you're dealing with uh, new babies, you learn about endurance. That It makes you stronger, makes you be able to handle more. And um, in verse 4, and endurance then will develop strength of character. And the strength of character is what's important here because really when you when you develop strength of character, then it's easier to develop strength in other places. And character strengthens our confident hope of salvation, you know, our looking forward to the future and what God has planned for us. And this hope will not lead to disappointment because God keeps His promises. For we know how dearly God loves us because He has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with his love. You know, that's what's there. It's there whether you're recognizing that it's there or not. And, and part of your prayers should be, Lord, I, I want to recognize your spirit. I, please fill my heart. Let me know that you are there because he is. He's just waiting. That's a gift. That's what comes with being a Christian. If you're not a Christian yet and you don't understand that, then uh, that's, a, that's what comes with it with making Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior. Um, here's the prayer that I wrote for today. I hope this is encouraging for you. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for motivating me to push through the hard times. I am living for you and I know I will endure. I will grow in faith and character under pressure and will become more confident. 
knowing how much love how much you love me will get me through and your spirit will be my encourager thank you lord for your grace mercy and continual love in jesus name amen man i hope that encourages you and uh i will see you tomorrow hopefully thursday at the good lord will and the creek don't rise but until then Love God, love people, and it will change the world. And God starts with you, I promise. God bless.